Today's topic is dysentery. Dysentery is an intestinal inflammation, primarily of the colon. It can lead to mild or severe stomach cramps and severe diarrhea with mucus or blood in the feces. Without adequate hydration, it can be fatal. Each year worldwide, there are between 120 million and 165 million cases of Shigella infection, of which 1 million are fatal. Over 60% of these fatalities are children under 5 years old in developing countries. Causes Shigellosis and amoebic dysentery typically result from poor sanitation. This refers to environments where people who don't have dysentery come into contact with fecal matter from people who do have dysentery. This contact may be through contaminated food, contaminated water and other drinks, poor hand washing by infected people, swimming in contaminated water, such as lakes or pools, physical contact. Signs and symptoms. The main symptom of dysentery is frequent near liquid diarrhea flecked with blood, mucus or pus. Other symptoms include sudden onset of high fever and chills, abdominal pain, cramps and bloating, flatulence, as in passing gas, urgency to pass stool, feeling of incomplete emptying, loss of appetite, weight loss, headache, fatigue, vomiting, dehydration. Diagnosis. Besides conducting a physical exam and reviewing your medications, your doctor might order tests to determine what's causing your diarrhea. They include blood test. A complete blood count test can help determine what's causing your diarrhea. Stool test. Your doctor might recommend a stool test to determine whether a bacterium or parasite is causing your diarrhea. Flexible sigmoidoscopy or colonoscopy. Your doctor might recommend one of these procedures to look at the lining of your colon and provide biopsies if no cause is evident for persistent diarrhea. You should note any travels outside of the country. This information can help your doctor narrow down the possible cause of your symptoms. Treatment. Laboratory results will reveal whether the infection is due to Shigelia or Entoamoeba histolica infection. If treatment is necessary, it will depend on these results. However, any patient with diarrhea or vomiting should drink plenty of fluids to prevent dehydration. If they are unable to drink, or if diarrhea and vomiting are profuse, intravenous or IV fluid replacement may be necessary. The patient will be placed on a drip and monitored. Treatment for mild bacillary dysentery. Mild bacillary dysentery, the kind commonly found in developed countries with good sanitation, will normally resolve without treatment. However, the patient should drink plenty of fluids. In more severe cases, antibiotic drugs are available. Treatment for amoebic dysentery. Amoebicidal medications are used to treat Antamoeba histolica. This will ensure that the amoeba does not survive inside the body after symptoms have resolved. If lab results are unclear, the patient may be given a combination of antibiotic and amoebicidal medications, depending on how severe their symptoms are. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.